Moshe um, from Intel AI came up with like a really cool idea of few shot learning without prompts. So he was sitting together on a weekend, played around with sentence transformers uh, on the ref benchmark. Ref benchmark, there you have like 50 examples on extremely challenging classification tasks from industry. Um, and yeah, he, he worked on a weekend on this and got a system that was like a tiny little bit better than GPT-3 from 62 to 66. In the most recent version, um, there was like quite nice big of jump of improvement, but this, this difference in performance is not what excited me. What really excited me is first, the model is like 1,600 times smaller. So set fit works with like a brick base model and you don't need like 175 billion parameter model. Also the model is around 20,000 times faster or maybe even more faster than that, 100,000 times faster because you don't have this in context examples, which add a lot of compute. You can use it with unlimited number of training examples. So GPT-3, you might can only use like 10 training examples. Here, it doesn't matter if you have 10, 20, 100, 000, million training examples. You don't need any prompting, which makes it extremely simple. And it works across 100 languages. So in the research of SETFIT, we tried to do few shot classification for Japanese, and we totally failed with these in-context prompt examples, but with embedding approaches works extremely simple. And how it works. So it works really similar to like these embedding approaches. So here we form again, these pairs. In this case, we take a pair that has the same label for sentiment classification. We say, I love this place and the food is great. And I say, okay, these are two examples that have the same label they should be close in the vector space. Similar terrible pizza and horrible service should also be close in the vector space, has the same label. And then everything that has different labels, like I love this place and horrible service should be distant in the vector space. And then you run on these few examples, like 10 training examples, compressive training. And this transformed the vector space from something which looks like this, where blue is like negative reviews and orange are positive reviews to like a really nice separated vector space where you can easily draw like a decision boundary and say, okay, everything to the top uh, bottom left is positive. Everything to the top right is a negative, has a negative sentiment. And just a question on the, the training process. The, the starting point here is a BERT model. So like, you know, a pre-trained MLM model that is then goes through this contrastive training. Um, so, so in the paper, we found that using a pre-trained sentence transformer model works better. So you first take a tr sentence transformer model, you train it on like Q and A pairs, uh, like what's the capital of Wash uh, what's the capital of the United States? Washington DC is the capital of the United States. And then you run the constructive training on this. Okay. And then the, the sentence transformer was already trained on contrastive training, right? And is there an MLM before that, or is it you know from scratch? Uh... Yes. So, 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 so first you run MLM. So you take I don't know Bird Base, then you take Bird Base, train it constructively on some Q and A data. So there's like Q and A data publicly widely available for for a lot of things. And, and that then, is to say, if I can just yeah, stop you just to clarify that that point yeah. because like we had a question on it. So that's you know have questions and their answers, and that is to say, okay, the question, the embedding of the question should be close to the embedding of the answer, uh, of its answer, but it also should be far from the answers of other questions. So Correct. positive Correct. and negative pairs. Okay. Correct. Correct. And then you take this. If you take the model like this, out of the box model, you have these two examples mixed because for search, you should ignore sentiment. So if I search for what do people think about the new iPhone, I want to find results that have positive and negative sentiment. But now with this graphic training where you say, I love this place and the food is great, should be close. I love this place and horrible service should be distant in the vector space. You tell, hey, that's what I want to have close and distant in the vector space. And then you get a, like a really nice vector space like this, where you can train like an easy logistic regression classifier on top of this. 
And this works really well. So, so here we show like number of examples. Um, orange is like standard fine tuning as you use it with hiding phase transformer class as you have to learn in machine learning. This is the set fit approach. And as we see here with like eight training examples, we got already like a really good performance. So, so the red one is like training on all all the training data we have. And here was like eight examples or 16 examples per class. We got already like a score that's like really, really close. And this gives you like a classifier that works extremely good also if you have like little training data. And there's a cool talk from Lewis on YouTube just posted a few days ago where they present like destillation approaches. So you start with an MP net, which is like a brick base size model, 100 million parameters. And then they distill it to a mini LM three layer network. And as you see, the performance is like roughly the same. So what you get now is like a text classification performance as powerful as GPT-3 with 175 billion parameters, but it was a model that has just 20 million parameters, which can easily run on your phone, in your browser, on the edge and you get the same or better performance. And that's, I don't know, I'm, I'm still totally amazed by that, that you don't need like a compute cluster to run GPT-3 and can still get really good results. 